Exponents and radicals. Question 3. Simplify square root 8 plus square root 50. Now I'll also teach you another technique to simplify this and that is prime factorization. Okay. So let's do prime factorization of 8. So 8 prime factorization is kind of like this. 8 goes 2 times 4 is 8, right? And now 4 can be written as 2 times 2. So the prime factorization of 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. So instead of square root of 8, I can write this as square root of 2 times 2 times 2. So that is square root of 8, correct? So this is what I'm saying is square root of 8. Now plus, let me figure out what is square root of 50. For 50, what we will do is, we will do the similar steps. Now 50 can be written as 25 times 2 is 50, right? And 25 can be written as 5 times 5. And therefore, I can write 50 as square root of 5 times 5 times 2. So that is how I'm writing 50. Okay? Now, so these two things are equal. Now when you have 2 times 2 is square, 2 square, square root of square is the same number. So this could be written as 2 square root 2. So what I did now, that I brought one of the 2's out of the square root. Right? That came out. Do you see that? Similarly, I can pull out 5. Square root of 5 square is 5. That is the reason. Correct? So this becomes plus 5 square root 2. Do you get it? 5 times 5 is like 5 square. And square root of 5 square is 5. And that's the reason I pulled out 5 from the square root. Now, you see square root 2 and square root 2. These are like terms. These are like terms. Both have square root 2. So they are like terms. Okay? Always think like apples. Okay? Then in that case, 2 apples plus 5 apples gives you 7 apples. So let me like 7 apples. And apples for us is square root 2. So that is what we get. So this is the process of simplifying uh, the radicals. Okay? And the simplest radicals are square root 2. Just a reminder for you. Now here, remember, our steps involved are prime factorize and then look for duplicate or same factors. Pull one of them out. Correct? That is the whole trick to do it. And that is how you can simplify the radicals. Once you have simplified, then you can combine the like terms. So here we have both of them as like terms with square root 2. So we get 2 plus 5, 7. Don't add these 2's inside. Okay? Think like 2 apples and 5 apples will give you 7 apples. So we cannot have 7 apple apples. Correct? So it is 7 square root 2. Thank you.